Good day, this 104th day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. Next door, neighbors. That's what the Meaningful Moment was about for me. In this day and age that we live in, we don't always know our next door neighbors. And for many of us, we do remember a time when we grew up in a neighborhood and, you know, people knew each other on the block. We knew everybody on the block. We knew, you know, the kids and sometimes you even knew kind of like the dirty laundry of the block too. So it was an interesting time. And, you know, there's positives and negatives to all of that. But more and more in this time that we're in, People seem to not always really know their neighbors. And if you do, you're lucky. And if you get along with them, you're even luckier. Um, but the meaningful moment for me was when I went for a walk a couple of days ago. And I went into kind of an area. There's kind of a few different little neighborhoods right around where I live. And had some encounters with some different people and that's not always a real comfortable thing for everyone my husband is one of those people that you know he might wave but <clears throat> doesn't go out of his way to like say hi you know kind of thing but I was kind of on a mission after I met one of the neighbors and it was with regards to this little project for Earth Day and a pond cleanup and just trying to kind of get a feel of a gauge for you know, where neighbors were at with these ideas. And it was really interesting because I met this one gentleman, really nice man, and had a talk with him. And of course, he opened up and shared about his neighbor and, you know, that particular little area where they're at. And I met another uh, woman who was really friendly and, you know, real go-getter, kind of like, you know, this, these are the things that uh, she could really get involved with and had lived in her area for 30 years, which is really beautiful because you get kind of a bigger overview than people who are more recently new to the neighborhood. You get that historical kind of layout and it really gives you an insight into just how that energy is for that area. And I like to get to know my neighbors. And when I was living in the high rise, I was surprised that, you know, with a building that had like 1,500 people in one building alone that it's so odd how you knew only a few or a handful and how you didn't really see each other all the time. You'd think you'd be crossing each other in the hallways all the time, but it wasn't that way at all. And then here in this community, we're kind of on the outskirt of the community, so we're not engaged in the central part of where the hub is. And, you know, we have next door neighbors. And, you know, when people you know, are outside talking or whatever, we can hear a little bit of that. And it's so interesting because I became aware, and this is where the real meaningful moment became visible, is that, you know, we either express this feeling of wanting to know or not know. And a lot of people are comfortable not knowing. And that's okay too. But it's so apparent to me that everything that we choose not to want to know is kind of like we'd rather kind of keep it unconscious to us. Because by opening up and saying hello or opening up and engaging, even if the people appear different or um, maybe have some different customs or, you know, are just different, different, different cultures, um, different age groups, different, um, you know, types of things that we've placed as far as society goes, like socioeconomic, education, profession, whatever, all those different kinds of things. And that sometimes inhibits us or prohibits us from engaging. And, you know, this not knowing and what lies in the unconscious is so interesting to me. And that with every opportunity there is to like open up to your next door neighbors and know them and who they are. 
and do that little kind of internal inquisitive investigation, not about them, about us. That's the part that's really intriguing. And of course, we can define, you know, what we want to engage in or not engage in and discern all of that. But it's so interesting because I believe that when we go out and depending where we are and opening that way, nothing but really positive things can come in this way that you've given what you can in terms of opening the door and brightening up the path and then you can also keep that you know at a distance if you see that it's not what you want to engage in but that you at least know and that you come prepared for that not kind of resisting and being like no keep the door closed pull the shades down I don't want to look over there or, oh, they're out, so maybe I'm not going to go out, you know. And that's one of the really beautiful things about communities or communal living, um, even nowadays in this time, that, you know, you, you can take that opportunity to actually understand more about yourself and the people around you and welcome that opportunity. Or you can kind of keep it behind the closed door. It's really up to you always, but for me, it was a meaningful moment. And another neighbor that was walking her dog, and I'm sure these people that we did encounter, like if I see them again, and I'm probably sure I will on walks, that you know we'll we'll have some beautiful conversation, and we'll find things that we both meet on, you know. But another neighbor had told me about the next door app, and um, so now there's a new places there and new opportunities there that are opening up and um, I'm one that still can appreciate and remember um, the really memorable things about knowing neighbors and those special little encounters that I had as a child. Um, not all of them were pleasant because there was a lot of things going on in the time that I grew up in, in the neighborhood that I grew up in. and. Um, you know, racial kind of things that were going on and I being different from other people, but perhaps that's given me the opportunity to see it from a different perspective and then to engage in a different way with neighbors. For you today in this meaningful moment, feeling that you're a neighbor and feeling you're part of that opening wide too. May you find all the ways to connect. Blessings upon your day.